What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Dynamite by BTS. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button, and let me know down in the comments below what other songs by BTS that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play Dynamite on guitar is that in order to go to some bar chords and keep this song as beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to the second fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing that you want to know for Dynamite is the structure of this song. We're going to start out with a verse, then go to pre-chorus, then chorus, then verse, pre-chorus, chorus again, then we're going to have a short bridge, and then we're going to go into one last chorus to take us out of the song. And the last thing that you want to know before we dive into Dynamite is the four chords that you need to play this song. The first one is B minor 7, the next one is E minor 7, the next one is A7, and the last one is D sus 2. And I'll have chord charts for all of those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Dynamite. Man, this song is so fun. I'm so stoked to share it with you guys. It's been a while since we've done any BTS, so this one's going to be a lot of fun. So, Dynamite is an awesome song for beginner guitarists because there's just one chord progression that's going to repeat through the whole entire song. The only thing that's going to change throughout the song a couple of times is our strum pattern. We do have a key change towards the end of the song, but it's not as complicated as it sounds. We'll get to that in just a little bit. So first let's take a look at this chord progression that's going to be repeated through the whole entire song. That chord progression is going to be B minor 7, E minor 7, A7, and D sus 2 in that order repeated through the whole entire song. So now let's take a look at the first strum pattern that we're going to hear in this song, which is the strum pattern that we're going to be using for all of our verses and our pre-choruses. So again, chord progression, B minor 7, E minor 7, A7, D sus 2. We're going to start with this B minor 7 as our example here while we're going through this strum pattern. So our strum pattern for each chord in our verses and pre-choruses is going to go like this. We're going to go down, small pause, and then we're going to go up, up, down, down for each chord. So a little closer to full speed, it'll look something like this. We'll go down, up, up, down, down for each chord, just like that. So we'll walk through of our whole entire chord progression with that verse and pre-chorus strum pattern. It's kind of like this. We'll start with our B minor 7 first. We'll go down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. Just like that, repeated throughout all of our verses and all of our pre-choruses. It's a little bit of a funky strum pattern. It kind of matches up with the funky feel of the song. So it's going to take just a little bit of practice slowly first to get that feel of that strum pattern down because it is kind of it's kind of just a weird one it's a little different than the strum patterns that we usually use but it's a lot of fun it matches the feel of the song and it's even better if you can throw a little bit of chucking in there if you don't know what chucking is all that is is while you're strumming just throwing in some muted strums in there just like that it's just a little bit of muted strums. You can do it while you're playing the chord, and all it is is you're kind of laying your fingers a little bit more flat so that it gives you that muted sound. You can do that while you're in your chord, is just lay your fingers a little bit more flat and also rest your palm on the strings while you're strumming to give that strum pattern just a little bit of extra percussiveness. It adds a lot if you're just playing this on acoustic guitar, but if you're a beginner and not super comfortable with chucking yet, don't worry about it at all. So guys, that is exactly what we're going to be repeating for all of our verses and our pre-choruses. A couple of times through that verse and pre-chorus chord progression with that verse and pre-chorus strum pattern without me talking will look about like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
there, guys, we're into what's being played for our choruses and for our bridge. Now, this is going to apply to all of our choruses except for the last chorus. We'll get there in just a minute. There's a very small change in the last chorus. We'll get there in just a second. So, we're going to have the same exact chord progression for our choruses and our bridge that we had for our verses and our pre-choruses. Again, that's B minor 7, E minor 7, A7, and D sus 2 just repeated through all of our choruses and our bridge as well. But we're gonna switch up our strum pattern just a little bit here, but it is actually gonna be really similar. So you'll notice that some of those chords are starred and that's because we're gonna have two different strum patterns, one for the non-starred chords and one for the starred chords. So this strum pattern is actually gonna be the same strum pattern that we used for our verses and pre-chorus, but we're actually gonna split it up and divide it amongst the chords. So all the non-starred chords, like our B minor seven, which is our first chord, are gonna get a single down strum. And then all the starred chords, like our E minor 7, are going to get the rest of that strum pattern. So the up, up, down, down. And that's how it's going to go. So our next chord in the progression is going to be the A7. That one's going to get a single down strum. And then our last chord in the progression, the D sus 2, which is also starred, is going to get the up, up, down, down. Now again, this is a little bit of a funky feel for a strum pattern. It's kind of just a funky timing and transition thing. So it'll take a little bit of practice slowly to get it down perfect, but it sounds super cool and matches up really well with the song. So start with this B minor seven, we'll do a little walk through here. So what we're gonna do is we'll go down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. Again, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down just like that, and that's gonna repeat through all of our choruses and our bridge. Again, we'll get to that last chorus in just a second. It's really similar, but with one small change. So guys, a couple of times through that chorus and bridge chord progression, with that chorus and bridge strum pattern, will look about like this without me talking. From there guys, the only thing that's left is what's being played for our last chorus. For our last chorus, we're going to have a key change, which sounds really complicated, but there's actually a really, really easy way to do this key change. All we're going to do is we're going to take our capo, we're going to move it up two frets, so it's going to go to the fourth fret, we're moving up one full step, and then we're just going to play the same exact thing we played for all of our other choruses. The only difference is that we're moving our capo up to the fourth fret after the bridge. That's it. Everything else stays the same. Same chord progression, B minor 7, E minor 7, A7, and D sus 2. And then same strum pattern we're using for other choruses here. We got down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. Just like that. The only difference on that last chorus is that after the bridge, we're going to move our capo up to fourth fret. So, guys, we already walked through the choruses. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on that, but a couple of times through that last chorus chord progression with the last chorus strum pattern with the capo change will look about like this without me talking. <laughs> Guys, that is everything that you need to know to play Dynamite on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, 
hit that subscribe button. I have about 750 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel. And I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see where I'm traveling right now, what songs I'm jamming on, or pictures of my dog, you can hit up my Instagram at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. And lastly, guys, if you want to support the channel and get your name in the credits at the end of each new guitar tutorial, you can hit up my Patreon at patreon.com slash the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below as well. Guys, it's been a while since we've learned any new BTS on this channel, so as soon as I heard Dynamite for the first time, I was like, I have to learn this song, and I have to share it with you guys. I am particularly excited about this song because it is the first BTS song that is completely in English. I like their K-pop songs a lot, but I do like this one even a little bit better because I can actually understand the whole song. And I'm already starting to kind of memorize the lyrics a little bit, and it's a fun song. It's a funky, fun song, and it's actually a great one for beginner guitarists because it is just that one chord progression all the way through the song. The only thing that's going to change up is just the strum pattern, and then again, we do have that small key change at the very end, but the easiest way to deal with that key change is just to move your capo up to frets. Just like that, same chords, same strum pattern, all we're going to do is change the capo on that just like we went over. So. This song is a great one for beginners. It's a little bit funky. It takes a little bit to just get the feel of it, and it doesn't have a ton of guitar in it, so again, this is an adaptation of it, but it's fun, and I'm stoked to see some covers of this song because it's just this cool, kind of funky song. I love the seventh chords in it. It just is a fun song. I like it a lot. I've been jamming on this song pretty much nonstop since it came out, and I'm stoked for you guys to be able to jam on it as well. So guys, I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.